Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you this makeup look that I created today. I only use five makeup products to achieve this look and this video was inspired by Sincerely Sarah C. I think she does this video seasonally where she only uses five products to create a look and I saw her video and I realized that I do this look a lot when I'm off camera or on my off days when I'm not filming and I realized that I don't actually use a lot of products to to create this look and that was just really odd for me because you know me I'm a full glam gal with lashes and everything and I use a lot of products when I do my normal makeup routine but on days like this where I want something a little bit more natural and I want a little bit of product on my face this is what I do and I only use five products so I'm gonna leave Sarah's videos a link down below and her channel link as well if you guys haven't already checked her out but with that being said if you guys are interested in this look and how I achieved it with only five products products then please continue watching. Alright guys so I am going to start off with my brows already on and that is going to be my freebie product. I know Sarah gave herself a freebie as well and brows are going to be mine. I thought it would just be a little unfair on me if I had to include my brow products within the five products because my brows don't exist and you know it was just a little unfair. So my brows are going to be my freebie and let's just hop into the tutorial. I'm gonna start off with the first product and that is the M Cosmetics Daydream Cushion. I'm using the shade Gentle Light and this cushion is one of my go-to when I do more natural looks like today. You definitely can build it up to maybe almost medium but I am gonna go in with concealer later on so that will be okay. Um, and this product does have SPF in it as well which is always great. And what's really nice about this cushion is that you can just take this on the go, touch it up, and you can also add um, back in that SPF. I would still say, you know, still wear your SPF underneath, but it is a really easy way to just add that on and touch up throughout the day. Alright, so I was going to add concealer, but I think I'll just leave it like this. And instead of concealer, I'll just use my translucent powder. And this one is from Essence. It's their All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. And I'm just going to use this to set sort of my T-zone a little bit. My shine will probably still come throughout the day, but that's okay. I like having more of a matte base. Um, and I did take the cushion under my eyes, if you saw earlier, so not too fussed. Just my natural skin, you know? This is a natural spring makeup look. The third product is going to be the Jason Wu Hot Fluff 3-in-1 Lipstick. So you can use this on your eyes, your cheeks, and also your lips, which is a great product. It's going to take on literally three steps of our routine just in one product. This is in the shade Eclair, which is my favorite. I have not stopped talking about this product, I feel. Um, I do just like to wipe off some of the product on the back of my hand and give it a little clean. But we'll do our eyes first. I'm just going to take some product... And I'm just going to lightly dab that onto my lids. And then I'll slowly blend that up into the crease. And with a lot of lipsticks, you technically could do this. You could use it on your eyes, your cheeks, and your lips. But I think some lipsticks would stain. And depending on the formulation, they might be a little harder to blend out. So the fact that this is like intended for your eyes lips and cheeks it just you know it feels a little bit more safe using and I'm just gonna go back in with my translucent powder and just to sort of set that in place so we just don't get any creasing if you do have like folds in your eyes and while we still have this here I'm just gonna take my blush brush I like to dab it out on the back of my hand so I can work with a little and build it up. I'm just going to place that for my blush just on the high points of my cheeks here and get that blended out. This is a really buildable type of formulation um, so just work with a little and then you can build it up or it's just going to look really intense in the beginning. Thank you. 
And also while we're here, I'm just going to take that onto my lips. Um, but now the fourth product I'm going to go in with is the Artisy In Mode Star Eyeliner. This is just like a dark brown pencil liner. And I'm going to use this to tight line my upper lash line. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of this eyeliner onto my actual lash line just at the outer corner. We're just going to take an angled brush and just smudge out that eyeliner. And that is just going to make your lash line look a little fuller. And your lashes will appear a bit thicker, especially if you're like me, you don't have much lashes that to really work with. And just give a little bit more definition to the eyes. And now I'm just going to take my lash curler and my lighter and I'm just going to heat up my lash curler only on the middle part and this is just going to give our lashes a better curl just think of it like curling your hair with a hot tool this is kind of the same principle and I've been using this technique a lot recently it's not a new technique, I didn't make this up I believe it came from Korean Beauty this is like a normal standard that they do give them a good curl since we are not going to be using falsies today we want to make sure our lashes are really well curled and I feel like heating up your lash curler helps a lot. You don't want to curl your lashes when your lash curler is too hot to touch. You just want to make sure it is just like heated up. And then once lashes are curled, the fifth product I'm taking is my Himmage Smudge Stop Mascara. This is my absolute favorite mascara and this is the last and final product and we're just going to give our lashes a good little coat. And this, you guys, is the final result. I only used five makeup products to achieve this look. I think this is a really great, everyday, simple, minimal, springtime makeup look. But it's still quite bright and impactful, so I just love this look. And I'm glad I was able to share with you guys today. I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comments as well. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I truly would appreciate it if you could. I love you guys so very much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Video. Bye!